Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to change the GDXR VR templates movement methods and go over some of the other settings that are in there. So to access and change the movement method by default, what you want to do is go to the GDXR VR plugin content, VR templates, blueprints, and data folder. In here you'll find a data asset and this is used to set up the default settings for the VR character that's used for the template. And you can open that up by choosing the red one so I'll double click this and you'll see we get a bunch of options. In this video, we're going to cover the movement tab. So we will hide the others for now. And what you can see here is we've got a couple of different options. Uh, the main one is the movement type. This is where you can change between teleport, shift, smooth locomotion, smooth locomotion and teleport and flying. And when you do these, it'll automatically update the user inputs to match the controllers. So for example, we're on teleport here. If I pop the headset on and we go around, we can then teleport around the scene. But if we drop back, go back and we choose, let's say, smooth locomotion, we can then have a walk around here. And then you'll see that movement goes to the right. We then have which moves you from A to B. So if we teleport, we can then cut through. Smooth locomotion. So smooth locomotion and teleport does exactly what it sounds. It allows you to walk around with the controller and then also use the right controller thumbstick to teleport. So you can do both of those at the same time. And the final version is flying. So flying allows you to use the left controller to move up and down. And what this actually is the capsule for the player. So you can see we can move forward back. And we've got a little bit of drag on there, so we'll slide a little bit. But we can also use the A button to move up. And then the X button, I think it is the X button. I switched so many controllers. Yeah, X button to move down. And then you can actually have collisions so you won't fly through walls as well, which is quite nice. So there is also a sixth movement method, method, which is on by default, as it uses the teleport system. So if you're teleporting or you're using a movement method that can teleport, you'll see that we've got these pads here and we have a snap positioning. So these allow you to snap to specific points on actors, which can be very helpful for movement as well. So this one on the left, is set up to move us higher up and then I need to fix that teleport but on the right you can see how we can actually use these to snap to the right and then we can load levels and kind of navigate behind so that's just one of the, the hidden ones that is in there as well but you can see here we've also got a couple of other options so camera height offset does exactly what it sounds like it changes the offset of our camera up and down so if you want to be shorter you can do a minus number so you do minus 50, let's say, or you can have a positive, let's say something ridiculous like 200. So when you press play, your player will be really tall and it actually matches your character for that. And because we've got a capsule, you wouldn't actually be able to walk through the door if you're using smooth locomotion. So don't mind. Um, we also have control of our max walk speed and max sprint speed. So walk is set to 400, you can make this higher so you'll actually move faster when using smooth locomotion or teleport. Smooth locomotion teleport. Uh, same for sprint speed. So when you're using smooth locomotion, you can click in the left thumbstick and that will actually move you faster based on that value. So you can kind of have like a running. Um, can player move. So this is on by default, so it allows you to move around. But by disabling it, it's typically going to be used for things like cutscenes or, I don't know, if you're in a main menu and you don't want the player to have control inputs, kind of use this so we don't have to worry about input action mappings and removing and adding those in. Uh, can climb, that's not implemented at the minute, but once it is, you will able to choose whether the player has the ability to climb or not. Um, can player jump, exactly the same thing. If it's true, the player will be able to jump using the A button on the right controller and then use camera direction. So this is probably one of the most important ones. When using smooth locomotion and smooth locomotion and teleport, it actually uses the controller 
to determine which direction you go in. So if you're using camera direction for movement, it'll change and it will use the position of the headset. So if you're looking forward and you press forward on the thumbstick, that's the direction you'll move in. And you'll still have side movements and back as well. But by disabling this, it will then switch the direction to the controller and it will use the direction you're pointing the controller in as the forward direction. So that's pretty much it for movement types. You can control them here. And if you're wanting to have a look at the code and the blueprints and that for it, if you go to the blueprints folder and open up the GDXR VR character, you'll be able to go to the left here and we'll see we've got a graph called movement graph. And this is where all the code for this is implemented. So the climbing's at the bottom, I'm working on it at the minute, so don't worry about that. So this is the smooth locomotion, or at least more accurately. So this is input. This chooses the input method based on movement type that you're using. And then we have our smooth locomotion system and our height capsule, which is required for our other systems. We then have flying, which is all our inputs for here. And then we have our shift movement, which is also here. So all the movement stuff can be found in our GDX VR character and inside of the movement graph. So hopefully that's enough to get you started and then to go from there. So yeah, see you next time.